was popping your it's your girl Amani Sharifa what's up what's good what's good 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 yo <laughs> shout out to all my people that is Tony <laughs> back into your girl channel what's up babies what's good you are so on to these episodes we are going to be talking my last all about telling you know a full-blown narcissist what you need to work on in your life is the one thing to do mama papa for well <laughs> so i'm gonna be giving my girls my fellas some really dope advice that can really help you out so let's go ahead we gonna hop way right doing into it let's get 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 it Hi, <laughs> right, Chua. Thank you again for tuning back into your girl channel. What's up? What's motherfucking good? Yeah, what's up? What's motherfucking good? Yeah. <laughs> What's poppin', babies? <laughs> What's good, you are? So, mama, papa, like I said, my loves, <laughs> we gonna be rapping all today about, like, you know, telling a full-blown narcissist. You ain't saying, what you really need to work on in your life is not the move. You ain't saying, just keep it to be a with you are. It's not the wolf, mama, papa. And we're going to really talk about, like, why this is not the wolf. So, today, you know, this really applies for, like, full-blown narcissists where maybe you're in a relationship with one. Maybe this is, like, narcissistic friends that you hang around, your homeboys, your homegirls, and they, they may have narcissistic tendencies, but you know they're, like, full-blown narcissists. Or it could even be like narcissistic as family members. You ain't saying just keep it a being with you are because we all know that, you know, a lot of people, family members could be full-blown narcissists as well. You ain't saying? So in general, my loves, this really goes out for like any full-blown narcissist, baby, that you have in your life. It is very, very important, my loves, to really understand that confiding in these motherfuckers, telling them about, like, things that you really need to work on as a man, as a girl, is not the move to make, baby. <laughs> not at all. So, like, first off, let me just put something out here. You ain't saying, like, let me just put this shit out here on the books right now, my girl, my dog. You shouldn't even be close to a narcissist you ain't saying before we really like dive deep into like why this is not the move to be out here like telling a full-blown narcissist what you need to work on in your life you need to know my mom papa you shouldn't even be motherfucking close to a full-blown narcissist i don't give a damn if this is relationship like i said friendships and family shops as well you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day anybody that you know actually like have been around like full-blown narcissists you already know mama papa them motherfuckers don't give a damn about nobody other than themselves poet you ain't saying and they don't even fucking love themselves properly for well for well you ain't saying so it's like if you're currently on a full-blown, you know, commander relationship with a full-blown narcissist, mama and papa, just keeping it a being what you are, you know, if you really want battle for yourself, you need to rethink what you're doing, my loves, because, I mean, sure, like, when you in a full commander relationship with a whole motherfucking narcissist, it's equivalent to you being in a relationship with yourself, because them motherfuckers don't care nothing about you, period. Even when it comes to friendships, when you are close, like close personal relationships, and I've talked about this on my channel before, my loves, 
when you're talking about like that you have like a close personal relationship with a friend and they are a full-blown narcissist girl my dude them motherfuckers cannot be trusted <laughs> that's literally a snake in your motherfucking grass like for whoa they don't care about nobody other than themselves a god so the shit that you got going on no i'm sorry like no no they don't care you know like i, I don't know what more to say like they don't care and you have to know that with these motherfuckers out here they wear mask, you know? So that friend could act like that. They really got your back. But behind your back, they dogging you. You ain't shit just keeping it being with you. They throwing trash. They, they talk a hot mash color shit on your name because that's what narcissists do. They're not genuine. You know what I'm saying? So if you have a friendship with somebody like that, baby girls, fellas, like once a while, like you need to reevaluate your friends because if you a well ass girl or a well ass dude like that those two energies your energy versus that energy is not the same mama papa and then lastly when it comes to like family the party go what type of dynamic it is you know maybe you can't fully cut that family member off because maybe there's some type of communication that you still have to have with that family member but sure, like mama papa if you tune into my channel i even tell this shit to you all about family like if you know that these motherfuckers is toxic as hell you ain't saying toxic as hell if you know that allah god the universe the lord the holy spirit the divine the most high whatever need my loves that you want to call that fine by me baby because <laughs> god got multiple needs but you know if you know that a lot good the universe has really guided you and revealed a lot of things to you about family members that you need to distance yourself from sure even if they motherfucking blood family my niggas like if you know that these people have done a lot of toxic shit to you and y'all are not on the same vibration you have every right mama and papa to put distance between them so even if it's the case we have maybe you don't cut them off fully know how to put them boundaries up so we are y'all don't have like no close personal relationship because you're not the same person you know like i, I said this before like you know blood makes you a leader loyalty makes you family big dogs you know what i'm saying so you have to understand that like i seen that before online somewhere i seen that quote and i'm like yo that shit is so well you know what i'm saying because that's a bull ass shit you could be blood related to somebody and they treat you like you fucking nothing to them you know so it's not about like oh because you're blood related to them you owe them a certain no at the end of the day <laughs> blood makes you a leader but loyalty being standing on like well principles that a lot of the universe puts between you and that family member is what really makes you family or anybody for that matter you know what so i gotta really like <laughs> i had to really like put that out there before you know like i tell you because of course this ties into what we're talking about today which is that so like you motherfucker now should not be out here telling no full-blown narcissists you know what you feel you need to work on in life because it ain't the move to me but the first line of business yeah ain't saying like i said on the books like you should not be close to a full-blown narcissist babies you should not not at all and god i don't care like who they are to you you have to be evaluate like why do you have this person in your life okay if you're in a relationship with them and it's toxic first of all when you're in a relationship with a full-blown narcissist it's toxic it's toxic i don't give a shit you ain't say who you are who they are it's toxic because we already know the motherfuckers don't care you know what I'm they they always on toxic time they live on tt time toxic time you know round the clock 24 8 you know what I'm saying like for a while like not even 24 7 my nigga like no 24 8 they live on toxic time you know they go overboard with these shit so 
it's about being gonna good babies and i know that could be really hard if you're in a relationship with somebody mama papa that you really love but you know you have to really ask yourself if you want better for yourself what do you want to do especially when you know a lot of the universe has shown you different things about this person so like i said you should not be close to no 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 full blown narcissists but what we're talking about today is you are close you know this is really for my baby girls fellas where you actually are close to a full blown narcissist okay so you could be confiding in this person right you know like you out here telling them about things that you feel mama papa that you need to work on in life right so it could be anything you ain't saying like anything things that maybe you feel like you need to work on what that like your self love journey and that goes for male and female you know battling yourself in whatever kind of way things that you feel like that uh, you want to accomplish like from a career goal last part things that you feel like that you want to accomplish when it comes to like financial aspects Sure, you could even be confiding, talking to them, you know, about things that maybe you feel like that you want to work on when it comes to like your spirituality development, or your mental, or your emotional, or psychological, or energetic, whatever the case may be. But you are telling them. Let's put this out here. You out here telling this girl, telling this dude, you know, whether it's relationship, friendship, or family. About what it is, baby, that you want to work on, and you know, it ain't saying like you be told, like you could be doing this simply because, like, you're confiding in somebody that you really love. You know, my mom, papa, you know, you really fuck with this homeboy, homegirl. You're genuine to them, but they're a narcissist to you. But you know, because you have like such a good heart, you're still trying to pour onto them, and you feel like that they will be there for you. Why? We'll talk about that later. But <laughs> you're pouring, you know, your heart out about like just different things. Maybe you just have different things on your mind, and you're telling that fun that maybe you just have different things on your mind, and you're expressing that to like the person that sure you in a relationship with because that's what you are supposed to be able to do. Or you're, you know, you confiding, like talking to that family member because they're your family, and you think that they should want to be there for you the way that you would be there for them. Because again, my loves, you're doing this because you are genuine, Mama, Papa. You are a good person. You will be there for them or have been there for them. You ain't saying you are, you know, you have that unconditional love built within you by the grace of a lord of the universe. So you out here, you ain't saying bumping your gums to them about things that you feel like that you need to work on within yourself or in your life period, not because you want to be betrayed in any kind of way by them, but because you just are confiding in them and you're doing it from like a genuine place, you know. So I understand babies, you know, like I, I really do, you know, because at the end of the day, you're human, you know, and if you really consider this person as somebody that, you ain't saying, is supposed to be like very close to you, then naturally, yeah, you gonna wanna, you ain't saying, motherfucking like, talk to them about things that's really on your mind especially if it's like family and shit like that like trust me i really do understand it you know from your standpoint my loves but here's the thing baby that you really gotta keep in mind they don't give a fuck yeah ain't saying like and i know that shit like style so blunt but it's true like i gotta tell you the truth they don't care my loves they don't give a fuck narcissists that's why i started to these episode or for talking about like these are people that you don't want to be close with i don't give a fuck if they your damn family members you ain't saying i'm not seeing go to war with your family start world war three with your family like i'm not seeing that but what i am seeing is what the fuck i said earlier which is that you have to know when a logo the universe is 
aligning you, mama, papa, to put boundaries that want to come to that family member. And they are full-blown narcissists, and they have done fucked up ass shit to you, toxic ass shit time and time again, and you know that, you know, baby girls, fellas, you really try to walk this shit out with a claim to your family, but they won't stop. You gotta put boundaries up, babies, because that's what you deserve at that point. You don't deserve... You ain't trying to keep dealing with that toxic ass motherfucker shut with them. You don't deserve that. Not at all. <laughs> you know? Friends. Same thing. Relationship. Damn sure with relationship. Because you know. <laughs> you connected. Connected with them. Almost like family. You know what I'm saying? So. This is why. I started this off my loves. With seeing my mom papa. That these not the type of people. Babies. These not the type of people my loves. To be having like close personal relationships to you you know and i talked about like on my channel what close personal relationships really mean i actually done like you know a whole episode talking about this so i'm gonna link that episode in the description box below my loves you know i highly encourage if you have not tuned into the episode sure you need to turn on to it because <laughs> you know like i really go into full detail about like the importance of close personal relationships and being careful about like who the hell you have as what i like to call in your cpos what stands for close personal relationships so i'm gonna link that but my loves like this is why i talked about this because these people are unsensitive as fuck my niggas like oh god like don't uncensor you ain't saying and you got the game fucked up if you think that they care about your feelings because they don't <laughs> no 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 mm -mm. no i'm sorry they don't care you know so when you explain ain't say like go fellas you out here telling them about the fun shit that you got going on that you really need to work on you really need to do to make your life better to make yourself better they will literally unless they didn't listen to all of it right so maybe you might catch them on a good day with shit they listening to everything that you say to them ain't say like these motherfuckers out here being a good ass listener you ain't say because we mama what narcissists they will mask they turn it on they turn it off they turn it on they turn it off shit like they be straight jump open up in that bitch like going up down up down <laughs> these motherfuckers be out here jump open you ain't say double dutch like i'm telling you like these, these motherfuckers be out here jumping up and down flipping it on off you know what i but you know when they feel like it because they have so many different layers to them from a negative aspect you know what i'm saying they never really show who they are and when they do show who they are they're a fuck nigga or fuck bitch at the end of the day and that's just one facts you know like that's just three facts no cap in my lap so you may catch them on like a really good day babies we uh they will sit they toxic stinking asses down and they will actually listen to what the hell you're talking about right you know like the i'm gonna just give an example this is just like a random example not to say mama papa dad this is your situation but just so you can meet the connection of like what the hell i'm talking about so like maybe you know like baby girls fellas you telling your dude like baby girls you telling your dude fellas you telling your girl like about some some more goals that you're trying to accomplish in your life right and you're like you know really working hard to accomplish these things but they have not accomplished yet or maybe you're brainstorming trying to figure out like how can you do things bigger in your life than what you're currently doing right so you're just you're pouring your heart out to them or you know maybe it's your friends you're kicking it with your friends my loves telling them that or maybe it's a family member whatever right so the listening the listening uh-huh uh-huh yeah uh-huh oh, oh for well what okay yeah you know like <laughs> like girl fellas like they listen to that <laughs> so you had that good old conversation with them and maybe in that moment you felt like that it was pretty decent 
maybe in that moment they actually gave you some good advice you know like you never know depending on what day you catch them on depending on like what personality you got from them right so maybe you caught them on a good day where they actually maybe gave you some weird advice or whatever like that right okay but so let's say you get into it with them about something right and the thing that you got onto and what them about it has nothing to do with like what you confided to them about you know like this is something completely different you ain't saying but y'all got onto it right and it could be something that y'all got onto it not really because you did something but because they're a fucking narcissist you ain't saying so let's <laughs> Let's rewind that shit, motherfucking back. Hey, you saying let's rewind it back? Hey, you saying? <laughs> With narcissists, we all know they got different personalities, right? They always wearing all different types of masks. The motherfuckers are shapeshifters. You ain't saying you never know what the hell you're going to get when it comes to them. You know, they're like a fortune cookie. You never know what you're gonna get when you crack that bitch open. <laughs> so it's like. You, you somehow got onto this, get into this disagreement with them or whatever the case may be, and it's really because of something they did, and you know you're you're not really trying to be like the aggressor on the situation, mama, papa, but now you got this narcissist trying to use against you what it was that you told them that you need to work on in your life. So in that example, we were talking about my mom, papa, that you were, you were like talking to them about like maybe some different goals, some different things that you want to accomplish that maybe you haven't accomplished yet or you, you're desiring to accomplish but it's not working out the way that you thought or you planned or whatever the case may mother could be, right? So now they're throwing this shit up in your face. This is the example, right? And the, the, the saying like, you know, that you know, maybe it was something that you and this narcissist got onto it about and you don't want to do what they want you to do, whatever the case may be, right? So now they're throwing up in your face, you know, see, this is why you haven't accomplished this. You know, baby gals, you may have a bigger like, well, see this shit, this is why you ain't accomplished this because you like this. You know, you move like this or whatever like that. You know, you always doing stupid shit like this. And because you do stupid shit like this, you know, you told me that you want to accomplish this and accomplish that. But see, you can't accomplish that because, uh, you know, you always doing dumb shit like what you doing today. That's why we getting into it today. Fellas, you ain't saying you got to go out here telling you. But see, this is why, like, you know, you told me that you wanted to do that. You wanted to accomplish this with your goals. But see, that shit can't manifest because, I mean, look at what you do when it comes to me. Look at like, you know, look at like what we're going through right now. And you could be seeing fellas like, what that shit gotta do with anything that we talking about? I'm just seeing like, look at what you're doing. You know, like how the fuck can you ever start to accomplish shit in your life and you're being a clown ass nigga? You know, like you're being a clown ass nigga. Like you're doing stupid shit when it comes to me, you know. So how the hell can you accomplish that? You're not gonna accomplish that. Like are you serious? I you know, like nobody's gonna take you serious. Nobody's gonna really like support your goals. You're fucking me, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, just give it a deal with you all like <laughs> And it's like <laughs> like it's sad, but it's true. Like, they will literally take what the hell it was that you was, like, confiding in them about, like, of whatever it is that you were, you know, like, trying to work on in your life to become better. And whenever you all get onto it, you know, like, in an argument or something like that in that nature, they will throw that shit up in your motherfucking face. And, oh God, you all could be getting onto it about something that has nothing to do with what the hell you confided in them about but they gonna throw that shit in your face like shit like it has something to do with what y'all are getting into it about on that woman and again babies you know y'all could be getting into it about something that really is not your fault my loves but because they're a narcissist what do what do narcissists love to do babies what do they love to do mama and papa I need answers. What do they love to do? They love to fucking gaslight people. They love to gaslight people, yo. 
I'm on many other things. You know what I'm saying? Like, just keep it in being what you are. But, them motherfuckers love the God slay people. They love to flip shit on other people when they be dead ass in the war. And one of the fever tactics is to pick on you about something that maybe you may have confided in them about. Or like, you know, told them out of confidence that they were like there to like help you and they will use that shit against you. And they'll use it against you in a way to just try to hurt you like mentally, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, energetically. So they will say things to you to trigger those things. You know, so that's what I mean by like they'll use it against you. Like if you confided the number about like you know goals that you really wanted to achieve and do in your life and maybe they haven't manifested yet and you're just like talking to them because you just really need somebody to motherfucking talk to my loves when you when you catch them on the motherfucking one day shit the motherfuckers will throw that shit up in your face so that way you could feel lower about yourself so that way you could feel like you ain't accomplishing shit in your damn life so that way you, they can feel more powerful than you. So that way they can make you feel like you have no control over your life. And they got all the control. They got all the power. You know, like, it's a, it's a reverse psychology type of sick-ass, fuck-ass, stupid-ass, whack-ass thing that full-blown narcissists love to do. And I don't give a damn, like I said, whether, you know, if this is relationships, family, or friends. It's, it's the same tactic that they like to do, but just in all different kind of ways. And again, you know, it could be in all different kind of instances. You know, I just gave you an example, but it could be anything. You know, anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, anything that you just feel like you need to walk on in your life to become a better man or a better girl. And you share this with them with the hopes that they will give you the same kind of respect that you probably will give them or have give them and they don't maybe in that moment or maybe not in that moment it just depends on what type of day you know what I'm saying like i said my loves that you catch these motherfuckers who are about the whole point now is that they after whatever moment that you have they will take it they will they'll keep it in the back little devious mind my loves and then when they feel that it's time to pull that cord out on the table, they're going to do it. So it's very important, babies, that, you know, when you talk about that, you actually do have these people in your life. You should not be, you know, telling them anything that you need to work on within yourself or your life in general. Because they can't be trusted. Which furthermore proves the very thing that we already discussed. Which is that you should not have them in your life as close personal relationships. So I hope this helps mama, papa. <laughs> I hope this, hope, this, hope this helps babies. Like... Also, well, shit, like, this shit can really happen. And if this has happened to you, you know what the hell I mean by these kind of things. Like, narcissists, they, it's really suck. You know, it's really fucking suck, but they like to find what makes people that, that they are close to. They like to find what kind of, you know, just what kind of thing is going on in their life that they could, like, Keep in mind to try to hurt them with, you know, when the time comes, you know. So, if they know that you are already, like, let's see, trying to accomplish goal, dreams, aspirations, and it has not manifested yet, they know if they throw that shit in your face and, like, gaslight you about shit like that, that's gonna hurt your feelings, babies. And I don't give a damn, like, you know, if it's male or female, mama and papa, it's going to hurt your feelings because think about it like this, my girl, my dolly. If you out here really putting that motherfucking work in, you know, when it comes to, like, your goals, dreams, aspirations, and, you know, hasn't manifested yet. 
you know it's, it's not divine timing along with the universe has not permitted it to manifest yet but you're putting a lot of work on that's good to hurt your feelings when somebody that's really supposed to have your back well he's supposed to love you unconditionally whether if it's relationship family or friendship throws this shit up on your face and make it basically seem like you a fucking failure that's never going to make it in life that's gonna hurt as one thing when motherfuckers out there talk they stupid ass fuck ass shit and those people are like not close to you but when you got niggas in your inner camp yeah, ain't saying like in your motherfucking camp, your circle and shit like that. And they popping that type of shit about you. And you confided in them like out of confidence that, you know, they will give you good advice. And they won't try to like throw this shit up in your face to hurt you like you're a failure. That's going to hurt you, baby. But you know what? You want, you know what? You want to know something? That's what narcissists like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh huh, yeah. Like that's what nonsense is like, though. They like that shit. That's what he said. They like to find out what are those that you need to work on in life. It could be anything. If you're like let's say you know, like I said, you're trying to like do things involving like financial. Let's say it's something involving financial that you're trying to achieve and it's not happening for you, right? They like to know that it's not happening for you. So that we, when y'all get into it, they go throw that shit up in your motherfucking face. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you're dealing with a lot of bad anxiety in your life, right? And you don't know how to handle it. And you're just confiding, you're, you're telling them about your family. You know, fellas, you saying like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just talking to your mans like, you know, that you struggle with anxiety and shit like that. Like, you know, you know like, men talk about shit like that too. Or baby girls, you telling your bitches or whatever like that, your home girls like shit that you struggling with anxiety and shit like that. And you just like having like a conversation, like what a you know, just a real heart to heart conversation about this shit. Narcissists wanna know that type of shit. They wanna know that. Because then they'll know like okay, they having financial things that they need to work on in their life. They're struggling with anxiety. They need to work on that with their life. The, 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 they need to work on their goals, dreams, aspirations. They're trying to work on that bad shit. That shit ain't manifesting. They'll take it a mental note about all the shit. And whenever they need to pull that shit out the motherfucking box to make you feel like a piece of shit, if you don't do something that they stupid ass is like, they're going to do it. Yeah, you know what I'm So it's equivalent, my loves. Like, when you tell a full-blown narcissist what you need to work on in life or about, you know, what you need to work on within yourself, that's equivalent to you telling a motherfucking demon. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just giving it well with you. And, I, you know, that's not no cliche shit. No, that's a real ass shit. Because you have to understand, BBs, that full-blown narcissists carry very low vibrational energy that resonates with Satan. That's why they wear so many motherfucking masks. Who the hell is the who who the hell is the king of deceiving you are? Come on now, like this is a like this a well simple question. Who the hell is the king of deceiving? Say on, say on, my loves. And you have to remember, Mama, Papa, that Satan's energy because he's the energy. Satan is an energy. He's an illusion. He, but he's an energy that people actually can't assume. You know what I'm So Satan's energy can work through actual people. It can work through places that you go. And it can work through things around you. You know what I'm saying? So if you have someone that is at a very, very low fuck ass vibrational energy in their life, they're going to assume Satan's energy more than a log of the universe energy. And shit, most full-blown narcissists that are full-blown narcissists and they don't want to change, like, they're good, they're just like, shit, I'm gonna be a narcissist, I don't give a fuck, I ain't never gonna heal from this, I'm just gonna stay there, this is just who I am, whether if it's a male or a female, you, they resonate with Satan's energy, you know what I'm saying? Whether that's on a conscious 
or a subconscious level. Rather, if they consciously know it or don't know it, it don't fucking matter. Most of they dumbasses know it because they're manipulative as fuck. You ain't shame, but they just don't give a damn. So, you know, like, just keeping it being with you. And this is why, BB, is like, you have to understand that having motherfuckers in your comp like that, that's not the move, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And you have to always pay attention to what Allah God the Universe is showing you. If Allah God the Universe is showing you that when you got into it with this person, they throw up in your face like, you know, oh, this is why you got that going on in your life. This is why you got that going on in your life. This is why you need to work on this in your life. This is why you need to work on that in your life. That's not a real person that you should be in a relationship with, friendship with, or be close to as a family member. Hey, Shane, Poe, you know, like, that's not a real person, my loves that you should really be close to like that because what will person gonna do some shit like that to you if you were to like get into it with somebody that you're close with you know because y'all don't see eye to eye on something like that they're not ever going to like try to rewind it back in their mind and think of what it was that you told them that you need to work on in your life just to throw it up in your face and that woman so you could feel like a piece of shit. They're not gonna do that. You know, like, I'm sorry. Like, motherfuckers is the dudes nowadays. Like, well, bitches, well, dudes out here, they ain't moving like that. You know what I'm saying? Because to them, that wouldn't even have anything to do with, like, your discussion if you're not even talking about that. But see, no <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. The motherfuckers, they go, they go. <laughs> They come for blood, my nigga. Yeah, Shane, they want, they want to, they want to see you hurt, and they want you to fall like that. They have control and they're winning the night more, So what the fuck do they do? They're gonna kick you when you're down. Trust me, like they will do that. So babies, these are not people that you can trust. You know, pay attention when a logo the universe is my buddy. He ain't just showing you this. Like you have to remember, my mom, papa. Your father, which is a of the universe, the Lord of the Spirit, he's not just rebelling this to you and showing you this person's true inner colors for no reason. You keep motherfuckers like that around you, you know what's going to happen? You're going to keep getting bit, my nigga. Because the snakes and the grass that can't be trusted. You have to decide as a man, as a girl, how you want to move forward with something like that. You know, babies? And a guy, like, I understand that, you know, this is a relationship, but this is a homeboy, a homegirl that you've been mad close with for mad long. Especially if it's family, it can't really, like, hurt you. But, you know, that's when it comes to being about, like, you have to be more self sufficient and a log of the universe and yourself and wanting better for yourself than to be called the panda on that connection of what you have with that full blown narcissist in your life and i know that shit may sound like well you know like cut dry but no that's the truth you know like it's all about what do you want at the end of the day for yourself like so like people can't do the shit for you but my loves and when you keep encountering situations like that you really can't even get mad at that narcissist because a logo the universe he's showing you who they are that person that full-blown narcissist is really showing you the true the true character but if you continue to have them around you what can you really be mad that they continue to like do the shit to you so babies really think about that you know really think about like do you want to keep these people around you you know like that and just understand that these are not the people to be confiding on about like what the hell it is that you need to work on in your life if you want to talk to somebody about that talk to a logo the universe and prayer or meditation oh poia <laughs> i'm gonna say that shit one more time for my people in the back that ain't hard growl. Like on some well, talk to a log of the universe about what the hell it is that you need to work on. You know, if if you just really need somebody to talk to. And again, my loves, like, 
that's not clean she shut that's not no no she, you know i heard that before you know I heard it, she. no <laughs> that's not no cliche shit my loves like for well late you know you have to take a chance on the most high you have to understand that that man created you you came from a higher source a higher power at the end of the day so why the fuck would you not go to the bowy person that has created you at the end of the day that can help you get to whatever it is my loves that you really mean to work on in life Shut if you turn into my channel, you know one of my favorite quotes to see on my channel is by Nipsey Hustle, you know. And God bless, you know, our big bull soul. But one of my favorite quotes that he said is don't bant to people, bant to God. Yeah, Shay. Like she, bro, like Valley really kept that shit a ban and that shit is so like true because essentially what he is saying is that you know stop venting to people about the things that you you need to get off your chest you know go to the valley man that created you so that he can help you do it that's essentially what he was saying when he said that you know of course you have people that you really can't confide on but those people have to possess good high vibrational energy at the end of the day within them and when you talk about like good high vibrational energy that comes from a log of the universe yeah you know what I'm saying? that comes from a log of the universe at the end of the day we talk about that motherfucking low vibrational energy that we talked about with them damn full-blown narcissists that come from satan yeah you know what I'm saying? so like you know a lot of good universe of course my laws will you know guide you on like if the person is trustworthy enough that's a high vibrational person for you to bond to but ultimately understand that the first person that you need to be talking to and mainly talking to is the lot of good universe about yeah ain't saying what the hell it does that your eyes got going on you know that you really because he's going to be the one mama papa to guide you he's gonna be the one to show you signs give you think what answer is which is the series of advance to get your attention to something bigger that's going on you know he's gonna give you those gut feelings he's going to speak to you through your aunt to wash on letting you know what it is that you need to do to help you with whatever it is baby girls fellas that you need to work on in your life you know but if you got this motherfucking mentality like you are the go to the, the full-blown narcissist that you're in a relationship with friendship with family ship with over god my nigga over the most high over the lord the holy spirit the divine lord god who has created you like what type of fuck shit is that yeah you saying you know so babies i'm just like only keeping this shit well with you like i'm keeping it well with you my loves because you know a lot of people always want the answer what's the answer what's the answer what's the answer but you never go to the mind that has the answer uh, yeah oh yeah i took a deal you know what i'm saying like you never go to the valley person that has the answers the valley person that can give you the guidance and and knowledge and power to help you do whatever you know what i'm saying you already know what the hell you're going to anyways because she, like believe it or not he's always around he's always you know paying attention though and you know something i always say you know my loves when you are praying or meditating or doing both to a log of the universe don't think that nobody's in the room don't feel like that you're just talking to the ear you gotta walk by faith not by sight at the end of the day so you can't always go off of, oh, I can't physically see, you know, I can't physically see the most high, so he ain't real. You a damn fool if you think like that, because how the fuck you think you got here? Oh, my parents got me here. No, your fucking parents didn't do nothing other than what a log of the universe permitted to happen in that situation. You got to understand, you you can't, you, you were like... You were permitted to come here because of a law of the universe, the Lord, the Holy Spirit, the Divine, the Most High's permission. He's the one that, you know, at the end of the day, made sure that 
your mother got pregnant by your father and he's the one that made sure that you came out alive when your mother gave birth to you so let's put that shit right on the books big dog you know like you have to understand mama and papa that he's very weird so you have to take that chance on him when you know that you're going through something where you know that you really need to work on things versus take a chance on shit. You might as well say Satan's son or Satan's daughter. When you talk about a full-blown narcissist, I'm talking about the real full-blown narcissist that like we've been talking about today. You know, they, they don't give a fuck. You know, the selfish, the, the selfish people. They value you all. And I mean, that that's not even just half of what they can do. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to like the personalities just being so self-absorbed or when it comes to like only them. So babies, definitely my loves league, you know, figure out what you need to do going forward. If you know a log of the universe is guiding you to like get that personality in life in general and just understand that you know venting talking to them about like what it is you need to work on in your life or with yourself in general is not the right thing to do because they will always try to use that as a defense mechanism to hurt you so i love you baby so much <laughs> love you love you love you mama and papa so 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 much please like this video so that way our channel can continue to go comment below my loves let me know like is this your situation like are you calling on a situation like this will have you but in a situation like this let me tell you babies is no judgment ain't saying like that's one of my big big rules on my channel we don't judge ain't saying we do speak motherfucking facts we speak that well ass shit on here but we don't judge because at the end of the day ain't nobody motherfucking perfect he ain't saying like come on now nobody's perfect so it's not about like judging each other but it's like shit we gonna keep it well on this channel i'ma tell you know my baby girls fellas what the hell it is that you really need to hear because that's what's going to help you you know at the end of the day if you want better for yourself it's all about like i said babies what you want for yourself at the end of the day you know but it's definitely no judgment because nobody is perfect my loves and you know it's about helping it's about you know like spreading the information to help not to both the fucking judge you know the only person that is perfect is a log of the universe my loves but you know definitely if you want battle for yourself babies you know baby girls fellas i definitely recommend we think what your situation is if you are calling or not and if you got out of it you need to just think along with the universe and stay out of shit like that ain't she so subscribe become a part of the dynasty my loves hit that notification bell so you are updated when i post my next topic and check out my playlist too because i got so many topics in here that you could really better for fun ain't she so check that shit out and if you haven't done so yet go ahead and Follow your girl on Instagram. <laughs> My Instagram name is what on that screen. So go ahead and follow me. Because I would love to have you, Mama and Papa. I'm part of the Amani Sharifa Dynasty. What's up? What's motherfucking good? Yeah. <laughs> but until next time, babies. Peace love and light always Mwah. later